Minnesota Vikings edge rusher DJ Wanham is quietly stepping up. Well, whether quietly or not, this guy is a star. DJ Wanham is a guy that I've loved since he came out of the draft in 2020 because of how, because of his energy, his pursuit speed, how he's able to get to the quarterback, how he's able to consistently beat uh, blockers uh, this year, for example. You know, beating like two, uh, one or two tight ends at a time to go to go get to the quarterback. And I like how DJ Wanham isn't the guy who just lets the quarterback get pushed into him for a sack. Or just let's let's like let, he doesn't let it come to him. He goes for it and he achieves and gets it. And that's what I love about DJ Wanham. And also, I will have the ultimate respect for DJ Wanham because he in twenty twenty one led the team in sacks because Daniel Hunter and Everson Griffin weren't playing and they were out for the year. And so DJ Wanham, it was his second year in twenty twenty one, and he decided to go out there and lead the defensive line in sacks. I admire DJ Wanham for that. I respect DJ Wanham for that. In his second year, he didn't know that he he didn't know everything that well that time. But now, I mean, but but still, he went out there and got got some great plays. He went out there and got sacks. You watch the twenty twenty one tape of sacks, you'll see plenty of DJ Wanham plays on there. And DJ Wanham this year, it's his contract year, and he's nearing double digit sacks. He's he's nearing double digits, so. The Vikings might have to think about an extension because DJ Wanham is really doing his thing. And then you have Marcus Davenport coming back for the rest of the season, a guy that DJ can really learn from. And then uh, let's say the Vikings signed Derek Barnett, a uh, defensive end who's on the market in free agency. The, Vi- uh, the Vikings could also have a benefit with that due to the fact that DJ Wanham can also get mentored and can learn from him too. So um, being on the Vikings is a win-win for DJ Wanham. And I love the success that he's having, the success that he's been having since 2021. And it's only it's only um it's only more, uh, nothing but up from here with him. So, you know, always admire him for for, uh, for leading our defense in twenty twenty one in his second year. I mean that's that's some stuff that's some that's some s- tough stuff to do. So, um, I like the resilience from DJ Wyman. I like his play style, and he's a star. Skull Vikings.